Look at somebody and said, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Yeah. Not so. He said, why will you say so? We are the elders. We, are, we know our tradition. She said, not so. Why would she say not so? The husband had been dumb from the holy of the holies. I gaze, the husband discussed with her, wrote it in paper, and said, this is what so, the boy should be called, in case. He said, ask the father. It was when they, go to the fa- they went to the father, and the father wrote John. As he wrote it, his mouth opened. He pronounced it. Now, Jabez was given name by the mother as a result of circumstances that surrounded his birth. And that is what is happening to some of us. We are given names by the circumstances that surrounded our parents and we didn't know it was a manipulation of witchcraft to continue the process. And Jabez, Jabez, sorrow. In the primary school, it was sorrow. He went to secondary school. So it, it, it is with him. It's a part and parcel of his life. I'm looking at the yoke now. See where the yoke came upon the unborn child. Did he contribute to his coming? Did he ask a mother, conceive and bring me forth? There are decisions you cannot make. You can't decide the family you are going to come from. But you can decide what happens to you after coming into that family. You have a choice to make. Somebody say, I hear. You have a choice to make. Don't tell me that is what I saw. If that is what you saw when you came in. So what are you doing? You want to allow what you saw to kill you? Can't you escape? He went to university. Soro went with him. He graduated. Soro went with him. He went to youth call. Soro followed. He got a job. Soro followed. He got married. Soro. Ha. Ah. Ha. Ah. Can I borrow 15 minutes from you? All right. Otherwise, I can close. Soro followed him. He wondered, what did I do wrong? And that's what some of us are asking. What did I do wrong? I'm born again. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm speaking tongues. How come my case is different? Your case is different because you came from a different family. Your case is different because you have a distinct destiny. Jabez was more honorable. That is when you stand in him and stand in his brothers, his he stands out. But there is nothing to prove. His appearance and the substance do not marry together. Your qualification and what you produce don't agree. They call you barrister, lawyer, solicitor. We're asking, what has he produced? Am I communicating here? They say you're a businessman. When they say business people come, you too, you come. Now perform what makes a businessman a businessman. You have no evidence. Please put the scripture for me. Yoke. Verse 10. Now listen to this. And Jabez called 
on the God of where? Israel. He suffered to a point. Ladies and gentlemen, until you identify what is wrong with you, you can't confront it. And until you conf confront it, you can't have freedom. Whatever you allow and accept is what you are going to get. Prayer of deliverance is useless if you don't know what is wrong with you. I bind you and I lose you means nothing to Satan until you know who is operating. All the witches troubling me, I scatter you. That prayer is useless until you know the what, is wrong, what is wrong with you. Where are the witches coming from and where are they after you? Am I communicating here? And Jabez call. In other words, it takes the only God. It takes only God, ladies and gentlemen, to destroy the yoke. It takes only God. Because that is the one that supplies the anointing through the power of the Holy Ghost and in the name of his son, Jesus. To destroy the yoke. He called on the name of God of Israel, saying, Look at his the prayer of an honorable man. If he is actually honorable. The reason why the Bible put all this plain to us is to look at to make us to know that it is possible to, for a man to look honorable and there is nothing honorable around him. <laughs> Anybody looking at listening to me? We have many called honorable who have stolen all our wealth. Tell me what is honorable about them. What's honorable about some people? That you took 100 million and your village road, nobody can pass it. Then you went to buy. You know you cannot win your local government. You want to be a president with 100 million. Honorable. Deceiving us. deceiving us. And we are allowed to be deceived. Those who are importing things cannot see dollar. Ask Ambassador Kwaka, ask Engineer Greg, what they go to, gas Bamidele, what they go through to obtain dollar for what they want to get. Yet, we saw dollars. It's like they are coming in trailers. What, what? And the thing was flowing. And the gullible, we are collecting it. And some of them, we are fake dollars. Now, if somebody who is going to want to be a president, God help this nation. Now, you, you add fake dollar to the dollar you are giving to the people. And then we are collecting. So they don't know who produced the fake dollar. Because they collect from this and collect from this and collect from that. I will vote for you this and say, yeah, yeah. They collect and do not know. Some who fell now say, come, come, bring the money and give you. Return with God, return it in this nation. And they are honorable. They are jabbers. Nothing honorable. Are you listening to me? We need to pray for this nation. We need serious prayers. I'm, I'm going to close. We need serious prayers. Our nation is in serious trouble. Jabez, please put the scripture back to me. But that's where I'm going to stop this morning and I will continue. And Jabez called on the name of the Lord. Look at his place. Say, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. What? Indeed. Those who read English will explain to you of the meaning of that. What is it? Lord, bless me to the point that people who think I'm blessed will really see that I'm blessed. Bless me indeed. 
Lord, I have seen blessings on people. I've listened to their testimonies. I have stood where blessings flow, but I have nothing to prove it. I only talk about it, but I don't have it. I join them to celebrate blessing, but I have nothing to celebrate. Bless me, indeed. I attend other people's wedding. I've been waiting. They dedicate their babies, I can. I also sow seed. But, Lord, can't you see me? They think I have, but I don't have. When church closed, people come to you and say, can you give me something for transport? They didn't know you have decided to use Legadis Benz to pass a cobra. But it was suit. You just wait until everybody is gone. It's like you're hanging around. What, the reason why you're hanging around is that you don't want anybody to know. You look honorable but nothing to show for honorable. Beautiful complimentary card but nothing in the bank. Beautiful signature on the check, but you can't cash it. Am I communicating this morning? He said, Lord, change, change this thing for me. Let those who think I'm blessed, those who consider me as a mother, do something that they will see and know that I am a mother. What was he saying? He said, Lord, give me evidence. Psalm 86, verse 17. Psalm 86, verse 17. He says, show me a token for good. Give me evidence for good, not just evidence. Evidence that is good, that speaks good, so that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed because thou, Lord, has helped me and comforted me. Oh, Jabez. Help me to and comfort me. Give me a token. I'm not asking so much, just evidence. Can I hear someone say evidence? He said, give me evidence for good. Give me something to show. I need something tangible to show to my generation that I'm not a waste. Something to show to my generation that I serve a living God. Something to show my, to my generation that I'm not a write-off. Give me evidence. I know what is troubling me came from my family. Hear my cry. Give me evidence. And look at what he said next. And he said, enlarge my coast. Enlarge, enlarge my coast. What was he saying? I'm compressed on every side. You see those cows? They can't go left. They can't go right. They cannot even go backward. They are just moving towards the direction. Even if there is a pit in their front, that's what they will fall into. Because they have no choice. They have no choice. Enlarge my cost. Lord, break the limitation. Eliminate limitations on my life. Limited in my marital life, limited in my business life, limited in my finances, limited in my academics, limited in my health. I'm just limited. Lord, eliminate my limitation. Lift up your right hand. Say, Lord, break every limitation in my life now in the name of Jesus. Break the limitation. We're going to talk about the yoke of limitation. Then you know how frustrating it is when a man is limited. Break the limitation. That was the cry of Jabez. Break the limitation on me. 
You know, when there's a limitation on you, all that you do is just you go around. You go around within the space allowed. You go around within the space allowed. When you go around to a point, you just fall and pass. Thank you.